in this example we are going to uh, see how to use the thermal resistance concept to calculate rate of heat transfer the wall of the house so consider a house that has a 10 meter times 20 meter base and 4 meter high wall all four walls of the house have an R or a thermal resistance of 2.31 uh, meter square the times degree Celsius per watt. The two 10 meter times 4 meter walls have no windows. The third wall has five windows made of 0.5 centimeter thick glass with thermal conductivity of 0.78 watt per meter degree Celsius. And each size is 1.2 meter times 1.8 meter. The fourth wall has the same size and number of windows, but they are double paned with 1.5 centimeter thick stagnant air space, which uh, the thermal conductivity of this stagnant air is 0 0.026 watt per meter. Uh, degree Celsius enclosed between 2.5 centimeter thick glass layer. So this times this wall has a window with double pane uh, uh, window. The thermostat in the house is set at 24 degrees Celsius and the average temperature outside at that location is 8 degrees Celsius during the seven month long heating season. Disregarding any direct radiation gained or lost through the windows and taking the heat transfer coefficient at inner and outer surfaces of the house to be 7 and 18 watt per meter square degree Celsius respectively, determine the average rate of heat transfer through each wall. So we are going to determine the, at the first part of the question, determine the uh, average heat uh, average rate of its transfer through each wall. Then, if the house is electrically heated and the price of electricity is 0 0.08 dollar per kilowatt hour, we should determine the amount of money this household will save per heating season by converting the single pane windows to double pane windows. So we are going to calculate uh, how much is effective changing of the windows from the one uh, single pane windows to double pane windows. As you know, the heat transfer or thermal resistance rate of these two type of windows will be different. So let's see how we can solve this problem. Okay, now let's see the solution of this problem. First, let's see uh, what uh, should be the assumption for uh, to solve this problem. First, we can say we have a steady heat transfer. This is our first assumptions, as it is said according to the question, the temperature inside and outside was constant, and also we didn't have any, we don't have any heat generation inside the wall, so or windows. So the, we have a steady heat transfer. Two heat transfer is one dimensional. Uh, we, imagine, we can Im imagine that heat transfer is one dimensional because we have a plain wall here with, uh, with uh, windows. And thermal conductivities of the glass and air are constant for our third uh, assumption. The fourth assumption is heat transfer by radiation is uh, disregarded which is also mentioned in the question. All of these assumptions are according to the instruction of the question. Uh, okay, then let's go for the properties which we have. We have the thermal conductivity of the air, which is the, between the two glasses of the double pane windows which is 0 0.026 watt per meter degree Celsius. 
and also we have thermal conductivity for uh, for glass which is 0.78 watt per meter degree celsius then uh, let's first calculate the heat transfer through wall without windows for the wall without windows we will have something like what you can see in this figure heat transfer is because of the convection inside the house and conduction through the wall then convection from the outer surface of the wall and the environment so actually this is the combination of three kind of uh, heat transfer then we can uh, use the thermal combination combined heat transfer uh, concepts we can write something like this we have ri here thermal uh, conductivity for the convection between the inner environment and the inner surface of the wall conduction in the wall thermal resistant conduction thermal resistant in the wall and convection thermal resistant at the between the surface of the wall and outside so according to the previous lecture you know how much is this each one of this uh, thermal resistant and we can write that ri or convection thermal resistance for the inner part of the inner surface of the wall is equal to 1 divided by uh, convection heat transfer coefficient times surface area of the wall so according to the instruction of the question we know that the values for all of these convection transfer coefficient is 7 times the uh, dimension for the wall was 10 times Four, if you remember so we can calculate convection thermal resistance for inner surface of the wall then conductive thermal resistance in the wall we know uh, the equation for that is the thickness of the wall divided by thermal conductivity of wall times the surface area of the wall then to calculate the thermal resistant or conductive thermal resistant of the wall we should use this equation which is the conduction thermal resistant for plain wall when the heat transfer is one dimensional heat transfer so but we don't have exact value for this we know that from the equation if we go back to the question we know that the r of the wall is 2.31 meter square degree celsius per watt we are going to know the values of this in other words for each meter square of the wall we have 2.31 uh, degree celsius per watt thermal conductive thermal resistance so what we should do is to divide this value to the surface area of the heat transfer so here in our here in our case the sur uh, the surface area a is 10 times 4 meter so we can divide this which is for each uh, meter square then we will ha reach this which is uh, conductive thermal resistance for the our wall uh, the wall we are going to study the wall without windows then we should calculate the thermal resistance or convective uh, thermal resistance between the outer surface of the wall and the environment ro is equal to like the previous one for the inner surface we can write one divided by um, h o times a h o here is convective uh, convection heat transfer coefficient then we know that how much is the ho or the convective heat transfer for the outer surface of the wall it is 18 times the heat transfer area surface area 10 times 4 then we reach this value for the thermal resistance between the 
convective thermal resistance between the outer surface of the wall and the environment. Then we should calculate the total thermal resistance of the wall without walls, without windows. And as you know, these in series arrangement, these three um, thermal resistance are in a series. So we can just uh, to calculate the total thermal resistance, we just uh, uh, we can just do summation to sum them. We can add all of them. By substitution of these three thermal resistance, we will uh, get the final thermal resistance, uh, total thermal resistance for the wall without windows. And as you know from the previous sessions, the rate of heat transfer for plain walls by consideration of the convection and conduction will be this equation rate of heat transfer for the walls, plain walls, by consideration of the convection and conduction, will be equal to this T infinity one minus T infinity two, divided by R total or total thermal resistance, T infinity one, here is the temperature inside the house, uh, T infinity two is temperature outside the house. We have all of the information for this equation. Temperature inside the house is 24. Outside the house is 88 degrees Celsius divided by total thermal resistance. We have calculated from the previous equation. Then we will uh, find the rate of heat transfer for the walls without window. Now let's see how is the heat transfer for wall with single pane windows. The schematic diagram for the heat transfer through wall with single pane windows is as the figure you can see here. We have convection heat transfer for inside of the wall and inner surface of the window between the through the wall and windows we have thermal resistance of the wall and also thermal resistance of the glass because the wall is made of glass and the wall. As you can see here, the thermal resistance for the wall with single pane windows consists of the material and medium with uh, different thermal resistance. Convection, we have convection heat transfer inside and outside, similar to the uh, walls without windows. But the difference between this and previous uh, and the wall without windows is the middle part. For these uh, kind of walls, we have thermal resistance of walls and also the thermal resistance of the glass and as you can see here uh, this is for the wall the thermal resistance of the wall and thermal resistance of the glass this is single pane so we have only the conduction thermal resistance for the glass then we can calculate the thermal uh, resistance for all of this heat transfer modes like this for Ri or convection heat transfer is similar to the previous part. One divided by Hi times A. Again, we rewrite or substitute the values for these parameters. So Ri is equal to this, similar to the previous example, previous part. The thermal resistance for the wall is also similar to the previous part the equation the only differences is the area surface area of the heat transfer for the wall in this case the as it is uh, said according to the question we have five windows in this wall and the dimension of each window is 12 times 1.8 meter then five windows. So the surface area of the windows should be uh, reduced from the total surface area of the wall. 
So differences between the thermal resistance of the wall here is the surface area of the heat transfer through the wall. The other part, the thermal resistance for one meter area is similar to the previous part. And also here we can calculate thermal resistance of the glass by same equation. We have conduction through glass, so we can use this equation to calculate thermal resistance by conduction through the glass. The thickness of the glass divided by thermal conductivity of the glass times the surface of area of the glass. Uh, the thickness of the glass is given 5 uh, millimeter or 0 0.005 meter divided by 0 0.78 for the thermal conductivity of the glass times the surface area of each window. The result of this calculation will be the thermal resistance of the glass. Then to calculate the R equal or R equal for the wall and glass part, we should, because as you may know from the uh, rule for the of the summation for parallel uh, resistant in uh, for electric current we have a relationship or equation like this one divided by r r equal is equal to one divided by r wall or thermal resistance of the wall plus five times r glass because we have five different windows for the wall then R equal for this part will become this value. Okay, let me tell uh, it again. This is R equal for the this part, which consists of a parallel thermal resistance for the wall and glass. Then we should use this equation R divided by R wall plus one divided by R glass. Why we have five? Because we have five different windows for the wall. Then result of this calculation will be this much. This is the R equal or uh, equal thermal resistance for the wall and glass. Then it will be simplified to Ri plus, let me write it here. It will become Ri here. It will be something like this. Here is Ri. Here will be R equal. Here will be Ro. Now these three thermal resistance are in series. So we can calculate the total thermal resistance for this part like this total resistance is the uh, result of summation of these three thermal resistance ra plus r equal plus r o by substitution the value for each one of these thermal resistance we will find the total thermal resistance for the wall with single pane windows then to calculate the rate of heat transfer through this wall we should again use the rate of heat transfer, plane wall with conduction and convection. Then again, Q dot is equal to T infinity one minus T infinity two divided by R total. T infinity one is the thermal, uh, the temperature of the inside the house. T infinity two, temperature outside the house, 24 minus eight degrees Celsius divided by total thermal resistance of the wall with single pane window. Then rate of heat transfer for wall with single pane windows will be 5,224 watts. Okay, now let's see how is the heat transfer through the wall with double pane windows. Diagram for heat transfer through these walls with the double pane windows is something like this. As you can see, the convection heat transfer between the wall internal surface of the wall and inside the house the outer surface of the wall and environment is similar to the two uh, other walls 
difference is the in the middle part of the heat transfer we have a conductive heat transfer through the wall we have the conductive heat transfer through the glass first glass then between the two glass because this is double pane windows we have a, we have here we should calculate more thermal resistance and use the concept of thermal resistance to calculate heat transfer for this wall similar to the previous uh, parts the convective heat transfer between the air inside the house and uh, inner surface of the wall is similar to the previous parts also the ri is uh, again equal to 0 0.001786 degree celsius per watt then we should calculate the r wall thermal resist conductive thermal resistance of the wall we can again use this equation for thermal resistance for the wall similar to the previous part we should substitute the a or surface area for the heat transfer of the wall like this we should reduce the surface area of trans heat transfer through the wall calculate the surface area of the wall minus the surface area of the windows to calculate the surface of uh, surface area of heat transfer through the wall again we will have something like this for the we will have this value of the thermal resistance for the wall then we should calculate the thermal resistance or conductive thermal resistance through the glass because both of the glass has have uh, similar properties and thickness we can then they are glass for both of them is sim same so we can again write thickness of the glass divided by thermal conductivity of the glass times the surface area of the glass so by substitution of these values 0 0.005 uh, meter divided by 0.78 times 1.2 times 1.8 we will have this uh, conduct conductive thermal resistance for the glass then uh, again for the air here we will have a uh, conductive thermal resistance a question may come to your mind about the convection between the air and the surfaces of the glasses the air between two glasses but if you uh, review the condition for the convection heat transfer is flow of the uh, fluid which we are interested to calculate convection heat transfer between that fluid and um, the surface but here the air between two glasses is not flowing so the heat transfer through the air will be conductive heat transfer then the thermal resistance of the air is again similar to the solid material will be thickness of the air divided by thermal resistance of the air times the surface area of the air here which is similar to the surface area of the glass then we can calculate the thermal resistance of the air the thickness of the air is the distance between two glasses which is given thermal resistance of the air which is given also 0 0.026 times the surface area of heat transfer as i say similar to is uh, equal to the heat surface area of heat transfer for glass and this will be the thermal resistance of the air which is conductive thermal resistance actually then to calculate the equal or the thermal resistance of window as you can see here for this is for window only for window we have three thermal resistance glass air glass they are in series arrangements so we can write something like this to our glass plus our air 
then two times this is our glass plus R A we will have this much thermal resistance for the window can that thermal resistance for window 0.27 something degrees Celsius per watt then if I uh, want to draw something for this for this part I can write something like this finally this become here is RI here is our window here our wall and here will be the convection heat transfer so we have calculated our window then we are going to calculate this part so it will change to we can write that as r equal it will be something like this r i here r e here r o so r e is the summation of these two thermal resistance for the window and the wall they are in parallel uh, arrangements so we should write something like this for as you remember for the previous part this is similar to the thermal uh, um, conduction or conductive thermal resistance or the resistance for the electric flow we can use this equation to find uh, equal resistance for the parallel uh, media so 1 divided by r wall plus 5 times 1 per r glass here the 5 is due to we have 5 glass in the wall according to the question so by substitution of the values for r wall and r glass we have this and finally by calculation of this we will reach this value for the equal thermal resistance of the wall and window this is conductive thermal resistant then to calculate the thermal resistant uh, convection thermal resistance between the outer surface of the wall and the uh, outdoor we can write two previous walls again it is one divided by h o times a we have the convection transfer coefficient for the outer surface of the wall and the outdoor it, it is 18 times the surface area of the wall will become this value this is convection thermal resistance then to calculate the total resistance as I show you in previous slide we should add all of this uh, three thermal resistance convection two convection thermal resistance between the inner and outer surface for the inside and outside of the house and also the equal thermal resistance of the wall which consists of the glass air between two glasses air between glass and the wall and by substitution we will have Mm, this value 0 0.02 something degrees Celsius per watt as total thermal resistance of the wall with double pane windows then to calculate rate of heat transfer through this plain wall by considering the conduction and convection we can write the general equation to infinity 1 minus to infinity 2 divided by R 
total, which T infinity one is the ter uh, temperature of inside the house, temperature outside the house, 24 minus 8, divided by R total, we have already calculated. So the rate of uh, so the rate of it transfer through the wall with uh, double sided, double pane uh, windows is 690 watts. Okay, so let's go to to solve uh, or find the answer for the other parts of the question then we are going to calculate the rate of which transfer saved if the single pane windows are converted to double pane window by comparing this uh, rate of which transfer you will find out uh, there is a difference between them as you can see here for wall with uh, double pane windows the rate of heat transfer is 690 watt let me see uh, for the other walls for the simple walls was 255.1 for the window with oh as you can see as you can see here for the while with single pane windows it was 5224 watts much higher than what we have for the much higher than what we have for the double pane windows now we are going to calculate the rate of heat transfer which is saved if the single pane windows are converted to double pane window we can uh, do this uh, easily by subtraction of the mm, heat transfer for these two types of the wall so q dot or rate of heat transfer which is saved when we use double pane uh, windows in the wall instead of single pane is equal to uh, rate of heat transfer when we use uh, uh, in through the wall when we use single pane windows minus rate of heat transfer when we use double pane windows as we calculated in the previous sections the rate of heat transfer through the wall when we use uh, single pane windows is 5224 watt minus and the rate of heat transfer through the wall when we use double pane windows is much lower, which is 690 only. And so we will save 4,534 watts if we use double pane windows instead of single pane windows in the wall. Then to calculate the amount of energy which is saved, we should multiply this uh, transfer which is saved times the, the time which this uh, heat transfer is saved. So rate of heat transfer which is saved times the time. The rate of heat transfer is 4,534 watt divided by 1,000 to change the unit to kilowatt times the time which should be calculated for seven months so, uh, seven months which in months is uh, 30 days and each uh, day and night is 24 hours so this is the time and this is the energy which is saved uh, for each hour of this time so total energy which is saved is equal to 22,851 kilowatt per hour and then we can calculate the money which is saved uh, during this uh, type, this period. If we replace the single pane windows to be double pane windows, the money which is saved is energy saved times the unit cost of the energy. The energy is calculated here. The price of that it was uh, given in the question, which is 0 0.08 dollar for each kilowatt per hour so the total money which is saved during these seven months by saving or by uh, by replacing the single pane windows with double pane windows will be one thousand eight hundred eighteen dollars 